Put your seatbelts on, boys and girls, because today we're going on an adventure. Today we're going to be making the tiniest home The Sims 4 has ever seen, and it's going to be functional. It's going to have a place to sleep, a place to poo, a place to eat, and a place to clean yourself, all in a very small, tiny package. Hey, big things come in tiny packages. Am I right? Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is make the walls. So my goal is to do uh, maybe a 3x3 three three house. It's going to be pretty tiny, not going to lie. But this is the space I want to work with. This is what I want to make happen. I want this to be the tiniest home The Sims has ever seen. And now we're going we're gonna to first wallpaper. We're going to do the easiest stuff first. And obviously, maybe we'll do some type of wood paneling or something for the interior. Just to make the space feel big. Because white makes things bigger, right? Like, just bright colors. Make stuff feel bigger. Okay, so now we're going to need a door and we're going to need windows because no house would be a home without windows. So let's do a window door because I feel like that might actually be a decent way to kind of get in some extra light. Does this come in different colors? No, it doesn't. White's fine, I guess. I mean, does this come in different colors? I can't use that tool on this? Oh my god. Okay, let's see. Let's see if this comes in like a lighter color <clears throat> that'll kind of match with a white door. I mean, this seems lighter. You know, that's better. Wow, we're done. We did it. No kidding. Okay, so let's go ahead and get two windows. Oh, no, we don't want that big of windows. Just it's, it's just a little gaudy looking. So let's maybe, hmm, what kind of windows do we want? We don't want the ones that go from the ceiling to the floor because that's just too big, isn't it? Like, this is a little odd. Otherwise, it does look odd, though, with these tiny windows. Ah, uh, well, we'll do the tiny windows because it's a tiny home. Okay, so there we go. Tiny windows. Now all we need is a roof. Now the difficult part <clears throat> is going to be designing the interior of this house. So let's flip this around and let's make the roof a little shorter because you can't have a big roof if you don't have a big house. That's the rules. You can't have a tall roof. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's go with darker here. And then we need to get some wallpaper, which should be brick there. There we go. And that looks really nice. So now we got our house kind of started here. Now we just have to do the interior. This is going to be the quickest build video ever. Oh, wait. We need flooring, too. So let's go to flooring. Hmm. What should we do? Flooring, maybe wood. Like a nice wood. Like that. There we go. So we do need a bed. We need uh, a place to eat. This is going to be really, really tiny. I wish there was, like, bunk bed workspace. Um, okay. So let's see. What are we going to do? Let's go ahead with a city living bed. Because we do want colors in here. We want this area to pop. So what we're going to do is actually drop this bed right here. So this area over here, this is the bedroom. As you can see, it's very spacious. Lots of room for activities. Now we need to do a bathroom slash kitchen area. This is kind of like living in a porta potty. Because it's a little bit bigger than a porta potty, but your potty is going to be right next to your bed. It's like living in a camper, I guess. Okay, so there we go. We got a nice toilet. And then let's maybe go with a refrigerator. We could try to do a cooler, but you know, we're going to get we're going to give them very expensive appliances. They have very expensive taste in appliances, but they don't have they don't have an expensive taste in space. So, let's see what kind of colors does this come in? Oh my god, look at that, guys. We can prep so many different things. Actually, wait. We can't have an oven because we don't have the space for an oven, do we? I mean, I don't think we do. If we want to do a 3x3, three three, we need a sink to be able to wash our hands. So if we're going to wash our hands with a sink, we need to get rid of the oven. So you're going to have to... Oh, I have an idea. I think I have a plan. I don't know if this is going to work. Let's see. Um, okay, so let's try, let's try something like this. Okay, we're going to get a counter. Um, let's put that in here and then maybe go with like this lighter color. We really need the light colors to make this space pop or maybe we need a contrast in colors <gasps> a color contrast okay hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on let's click this let's go to the peachy color okay and then we can put a sink in that um let's go with this so there's our nice sink but i really want another space to kind of craft out any type of food we need god dang it this is so small okay so we have the pet we need a light we need lights. Is there anybody with lights? Uh, okay, lighting. Okay, is this functional? Is this somebody, something could, sur could people survive in this? That's what I want to know. Okay, and then we put the big light because it'll help light up the space. Uh, we need a rug. I think a rug would be a nice touch. 
More things that can add splashes of color. That's that's our goal, and that's what we're trying to accomplish here. I mean, just splashes of color everywhere. Let's see what other colors this bed comes in. Maybe a color that complements the rest of this a little bit better. Now, I think the best one is this pink and gray. And then this area looks pretty good. So we could even go with, like, this baby blue here. We could do this oven in, like, a black. And then do the sink in, like, a gray. Or maybe we do the sink in, like, a brass or a brown. Ooh, the brown's pretty nice because it matches the bottom of the cabinet. So, okay. This is... This is the house. This is the Sims' tiniest home. Man, this is not very impressive. Now, I really do want a place for them to be able to cut up stuff, but why do they need to cut if they don't have an oven? <gasps> what if, hold on now, I'm having ideas. I'm having epiphanies. Now, they gotta be able to use this house. We're gonna put this flower thing right here. Look at this, I'm gonna put this on the gallery. You guys could download it, you could live your life in the tiny home and share it with me on Twitter. My Twitter's linked down below. I would love to see if anybody's actually able to do a full let's play or a full legacy in this tiny home or starting from this tiny home. Uh, okay, so let's see. We need more pictures and paintings because we do have wall space, but we don't have unlimited other space. So let's see here. Um, I think these come in different colors, don't they, or do they not? The brown looks really nice against the white wood, though. People are trying to add me on Xbox right now. Not right now. Okay, so there we go. Uh, we could definitely put something here. I don't want it to get too cluttery and too random. But, you know, look at that. This this house is this house is goals. This house is everything you could possibly want. Now we just need to make a thousand screenshots. Wait, let's call this uh, Tiniest Home in Sims 4 History. Oh, that's... In Sims 4, that's fine. In Sims 4, I I'll take that. Now, can we update this to the gallery or upload it to the gallery? No, not in Sims 4D. This isn't a 4D experience. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this lot to the gallery. So we're going to call it um, Tiniest Home in Sims 4. And, uh, okay, this tiny dream home is complete with all you need to survive okay so there we go we're gonna say it's a one bedroom one bathroom mega mansion it's it's balling on a budget seven thousand dollars but you yet you got top end appliances like three thousand dollar refrigerator uh, so there we go we did it <laughs> this is it this is why you watch the video to see the tiny home and we made it happen I'd say this is perfect for someone that just kind of wants to live in a small square or someone that likes to smell their bathroom break as they move about the house. Now there's no real entertainment. Oh, wait, is there a mountable TV that's small? This TV should be able to be mounted. I'm telling you guys. Can I put this above the door? Where can I put this? Where can I mount? Aren't one of these TVs mountable? There we go. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, hold on. There we go. So the, the, it's complete with everything. This is all you need to really survive. And I'm going let, to... Let's update this. Okay, so... I mean, did I do it? Yep, the tiny home. All you need to survive. So let's just... Let's let's put it back in. Uh, overwrite. That's the goal. Now it's got the TV included. Uh, Aviator Networks is my origin. I do if you guys want to check this out. I just want to see if it was possible to fit the kitchen, bathroom, bedroom, living room, all in one room. This is a great way... To start your rags to riches challenge in style. But guys, we'll be back with more videos later. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And until next time, remember, take it easy. Live and squeezy. Now we just need to take a thousand screenshots. Bam! Look at that house. Bam! 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 And then we, we can go inside the house. Oh, <gasps> I can't go. In. Okay, here. I'll knock on the door. No one lives here. Dude! Dylan, bro! No one lives there. Maybe this is going to be Dylan's future home. <gasps> Ooh, spoiler. <gasps> Wait, do you see that? <laughs> the, the sunlight reflection. Illuminati! Illuminati! It's Plum Bobs, dude! The sunlight reflection is Plum Bobs! Okay. Okay, hold on now. Oh, hold on now. I know. I know. This is, this is the screenshot portion. Bam, baby. Bam! Strike a pose, Dylan! Strike a pose! Are we to 10 minutes yet? Is the video 10 minutes long yet? Anyone? Any I think we're getting close now. <sighs> so how have you guys been?
<laughs> Comment, hashtag, I watch to the end. <laughs> yeah.